Pingree wins non-public plea. Uh, Clayton Wright and Clay McCollum lead them to the championship first time since 2006. Guys, uh, three quick goals after the 50-plus minute delay. Uh, what, did, what opened up for you guys after that delay offensively? I know you won some face-offs. We just moved the ball. We had a great individual performance by Clay. I think he had six goals, four completely unassisted. He was just beating his guy all day. He really played an amazing game. And without him, we probably would have had a much tougher time scoring. Clay, you, you backed down a number of guys. You scored from behind net. Uh, you know, used your size and were very physical all night. Um, did you expect to have this kind of success against a team the caliber of Morristown Beer? Well, I, I, don't, I just came in and I really liked my matchup and I. First half, I noticed that I could beat the guy relatively easily, so I, that pretty much worked for me from behind, especially with people dodging from up top, drawing that slide, and I pretty much had the whole backside to just use my body to get top side. There. Just like you guys, you have you have an arsenal of really great offensive players. So do they, led by Thomas Rago and uh, Teddy Hatfield. Coach said that you basically went you know man versus man defensively against him with some seniors. Can you just talk about some of the senior leaders you have on defense and thoughts on the performance they had today? Yeah, I mean, Teddy Hatfield's like my best friend. I've been playing with him since I was second grade. He's an awesome player. He's one of the most talented kids in the state, honestly. And he's going to do great things in the next level. But our guys, Jamie, Jonathan Butler, and Rob Diaz, they're unbelievable. I don't think they get enough credit throughout the year for being like the all-stars that they are. I think they are the most valuable guys on our team. And really, like, they're an impossible matchup. People don't beat them. Yeah, and it's also a testament to our coaches for their scouting reports on the kids. I mean, we had great matchups today. Our, uh, I mean, our de defense going against, like, unbelievable attack and they played great. And moving forward, guys, there's, there's going to be, you know, only elite teams left from this point forward. What do you think distinguishes you guys as a team and as a program from maybe some of the others? I think we have a chip on our shoulder because we're such a small school. I think we got, like, 500 kids in all of the high school. And some of these kids got four. Some of these schools got four thousand. So, being a smaller school and just having this opportunity is rare, and we're just going to embrace it and cherish it, and we can't wait for the next step.